reform Asia is a tall order, but at the, at the beginnings of every reform is a particular idea. And to say that you're going to set up an international university, probably best resourced in the region, solely dedicated to education of women. Some people may say it's unnerving, but others would say that symbolically and substantially it's, it's a paradigm shift. It's a shift your way of looking at who forms your community. You always hear people saying, when you educate a woman, you educate families, and you educate generations. It's really a trickling effect. It's not just one person. It's um, really the, the change has a greater magnitude. What we started out with was really just the notion of creating a liberal arts college uh, that would help sort of bring in women from all across the region uh, and give them an education that what I think one of our key in public intellectual inspirations, has, Martha Nussbaum from the University of Chicago, has called the sovereignty of mind. What does it take for women to be fully empowered as equal members of a functioning democracy, such as India or Bangladesh and so on? Now there, we really see the need not just for tertiary education, but for the particular kind of liberal arts education that's so rare in Asia. But also, they need to be trained to just um, use their minds freely, to use their imaginations, and to, uh, to be, um, to use Rabindranath Tagore's words, free human minds. In Asia, many universities still tend to have curriculum where the student has to decide right from the first year what they're going to study and then it's very very focused narrowly whereas the liberal arts uh, curriculum is a much broader exposure to knowledge there is another university is giving uh, education only about a about a specific subject like biochemistry if i want to study in biochemistry i will study only the science but here i was uh, in the in the university program i will also learn uh, uh, more about different subjects uh, as a human being i think i have to study all the subjects a liberal arts background gives you a broader deeper richer context in which to live your life we are here to really teach them how to think a lot of them have come from a rote um, education background and that's the kind of university that they would go into. They're living and working side by side with the teachers and we're here not only to teach them in the classroom you know but to be here to open their eyes to a lot of other things. They're, they're improving our critical thinking. We are learning more and it is so fast. We have we become fast learners here. I love that. <laughs>